hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of n if we have n multiplied by n multiplied by n multiplied by n here you see that n is multiplied by 4 times and it is equals to minus 81 and we solve this problem for the values of n i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section here first you see that the basis of all of these four n's are same it means that we if bases are same we add its exponents and when you add the ones four times it will becomes n to the power of four and this is equals to minus 81 and now in the next step we move minus 81 in the left hand side and it will be written as n to the power of four plus 81 and this whole is equal to 0 and now here uh, we rewrite this equation as we write n to the power of 4 as n square and its whole square plus we write this 81 as 9 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so now here we need to complete the square of this term so in order to completing the square of this term we need to use here this nice formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b so here you have this is a square plus b square we have these two square terms and we need a 2 times of a b term so in order to uh, make this term we need to add and subtract 2 times of a b uh, in the left hand side of this term uh, so after adding this term it will be written as n square and its whole square plus 9 square and plus 2 times of a b because here our a is n square and our b is 9 so 2 times of a b equals to 2 times of a is n square and b is 9 and again minus minus 2 times of again a b so again our a is n square and b is 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now here we need to focus on the first three terms and our first three terms will becomes a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b will becomes here this uh, formula form so according to this formula it will be written as n square plus 9 whole square and minus this is 2 times of 9 becomes 18 into n square and this whole equation equals to 0 so here because we solve this problem for the values of n uh, for this uh, we need to move this minus time 18 n square to the right hand side so it will be written as n square plus 9 whole square equals to 18 times of n square so uh, here we in order to find the value of n we need to take the <coughs> square root on both of the sides of this equation so when you take the square root it will be written as in this form so this two and this square root are gone and in the left hand side we will obtain here n square plus 9 and in the right hand side uh, we have uh, uh, here uh, we can just apply the square root separately on both of these values uh, this is n square uh, so here we get n square plus 9 and uh, here we have this is uh, the square root of this and these are cancelled by each other and we get here square root of 18 into n here uh, we can just solve uh, the positive values of n uh, so uh, for this we can just uh, neglect the negative term here okay now we move this term in the left hand side so it will be written as n square minus square root of 18 times of n plus this is 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 so you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in n variable so here we can easily apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so for this first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus square root of 18 and c is equals to 9 
and we state the quadratic formula as n equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here we need to put the values of a b and c here and it will be written as n is equals to this is minus b so now here we put the value of b in this equation and we have this is minus b the value of b is minus times of square root of 18 and plus minus square root of uh, this is b square so b is minus times of uh, square root of 18 and its whole square minus 4 times of a c over a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step we have our n is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 18 and plus minus a square root of this minus square become positive and this two time of square root are gone and we get 18 minus 9 for the 36 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need uh, more simplifications here and uh, we will uh, get here uh, the remaining values are right in this form uh, so we have our n is equals to minus square root of 18 plus minus here we get minus square root of 18 and it is divided by 2 okay uh, so here when you subtract 18 minus 36 you get here minus 18 and we can write all of these values as it is here so after this step uh, we uh, uh, we need to simplify the terms and it will be written as uh, n is equals to here uh, we can just write this 18 as minus 9 times of 2 becomes 18 and plus minus here we need to uh, separate the square root on both of these values and first we can write the square root on 18 and it will be written as 9 times of 2 and uh, the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step we have n is equals to here we know that the square root of 9 equals to 3 times of square root of 2 plus minus again we have the square root of 9 becomes 3 and this is square root of 2 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so here we need to break this fraction but here first we write the denominator 2 in this form this is minus 3 times of square root of 2 we write this 2 as square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 and plus minus this is 3 times of square root of 2 iota divided by we again write this 2 as square root of 2 into square root of 2 and now here in the next step we need to cancel this square root of 2 and we obtain our n is equals to minus 3 over square root of 2 plus minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here 3 over square root of 2 into iota so these are the other two uh, complex roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question uh, and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching here we have little mistake uh, the little mistake is that uh, in order to write these values this is our positive value okay uh, this is the positive value uh, and when uh, this is the positive value and we can again so we can solve this problem only positive values of n i can just tell us that uh, so for this we need to neglect the negative value and it will be written as 3 over square root of 2 plus 3 over square root of 2 into iota so this is the our positive value of this question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos